so this isn't meant to be anything fancy, uh, but I haven't found anything decent um, online as far as tungsten stick-out gauges go, um, at least not for a price that's decent. Uh, so I decided to just kind of make one real quick myself, and I liked it so much I decided to make one for you guys too. Look, uh, I mean, I realize that tungsten stick-out when TIG welding is kind of a, I don't know, black magic art form, and, and most of you have probably been doing the same thing I have which is eyeball the stick out. And look, if you're good at that, I mean, this obviously isn't for you, but I got to tell you, I found that being able to, you know, accurately determine that stick out in 1 16th inch increments has made my welds more consistent. So I use it all the time, and that's whether or not I want to match the di diameter to the stick out, you know, the cup size diameter versus stick out. You know, sometimes I'll go up and down in sizes, but, you know, bottom line is I like knowing exactly what that stick out was so that I can easily set that stick out again, um, especially in type of a production setting. I mean, look, if you like the way you just lay down a bead, it's nice to know exactly where that stick out was. In any case, this block's made from 6061T aluminum. It's a soft metal, soft enough not to damage your tungsten tips. Um... It'll fit tungsten tips up to one inch, excuse me, one eighth inch diameter. And as you can see, it'll set the depth in one sixteenth inch increments from a number four cup to a number 12 cup. Um, anyways, you can easily make one yourself. I used a CNC mill to precisely drill the depth to size and engrave the numbers. I milled the sides to square it up and finally finished it in a candy blue powder coat. Um, I like that finish because uh, it really sticks out in my shop, which makes it you know, easy to find. In any case, uh, hope you enjoy. Hope you find a use for it. Take care and weld something cool.